Hi everyone, welcome back. My name's Claire. I've done some rainbow pours recently and the colours just keep on going. I mixed up quite a lot for the first pour and then I think I've done two subsequent pours with the paint. I've got just a little bit left so it makes sense. Let's just finish them up. I'm going to layer up a cup, do a flip cup. All the paints have got um, hair serum in so they've got some oil in. Um, so I'm just going to do a rainbow flip cup, see what results I get. Here are all my leftover colours, so just a complete rainbow, but you can see there's not much. There's probably a centimetre left of each colour, some slightly more, um, but really, really not much. So I'm just going to layer up one cup um, and see what happens. So as I was layering up that cup, I've totally changed my mind about what type of pour I'd like to do. I've layered the cup in the rainbow order. I'd like to actually do a straight pour um, and because it's in a rainbow order. So I'm just very interested to know how it will come out. So it's in a rainbow order, so it should come out in the rainbow, um, but there'll be some muddying. I'm just very intrigued to know what will happen. There is oil in this, as I said, so I will probably torch some places and get some cells. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure yet. I've just mixed up some more of that red because the red is at the outside um, and I'm going to use that for um, a puddle in the centre and then as a flow extender. Because the other idea I have is that I might, instead of tilting it, I might spin the canvas, to, depending on the design. Um, so let's just, I'll put a puddle in the middle to start with. So I'm going to pour into that. And I think I might actually just put this down now as a flow extender around the edge. So if it gets to that edge, it will just push against that paint. And the reason I'm doing that is because I kind of want all the colours to remain. So the last colours that went into the cup, which are the reds, oranges and yellows, will be um first out so what will happen is they will get pushed to the edge and if the canvas is dry they will just roll over so you'll actually totally lose those colors or they get pushed off the edge so if i've got more red here to start with i'm hoping that that won't happen so i'm going to do a straight pour i will twist my hand around to get some different designs actually Another idea, of course, this is just evolving, this pour. I'm going to put this on my cake turntable and I'm going to spin it. So I've put the canvas now on cake turntable and I'm hard board with a piece of paper over to catch all the drips. So straight pour, so I will twist my hand around as I go. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Right, so far so good. I'm actually really, really liking it. It's beautiful. I love that twist. Um, it didn't quite get out to that to that outside flow extender, so I'm just now going to um, just help it to meet that flow extender at the edge. So I'm just going to 
center it a little bit. There's quite a lot of paint on here. So I think I'm gonna just center it, spin it, just spin it slowly and then just keep checking it. fact but I've changed my mind I think I am just going to stretch it because it's a round canvas I'm just going to try and stretch it out but circularly to start with and then I can always just spin that last bit So why on earth have I never thought of doing a straight pull rainbow before? I absolutely love it. Um, I changed my mind pretty early on in the spinning that it just wasn't really working um, and that I didn't want a perfectly circular red pattern around the edge. So what I then aim to do is keep some of that dark red but make it really irregular and choppy. So the composition is fab. Absolutely love the composition. Um, let me show you the very centre. So because it was a spiral, you haven't got a straight line of that pale pink. You've got a, a sort of rounded line. Um, the fingerlings are so pretty, but you've got you've got all the individual colours. You can see the rainbow. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, indigo, violet. Um, there's a lot of sparkle in this because there were quite a few iridescents in it. Um, now, I have deliberately not torched this because I don't want cells. I think I will get a few cells. There's one just popped up there. There's one there. I think I might get some as it dries. So I, I'm expecting to get a few, but actually I don't really want any. So I'm going to just leave it, hope for the best. I did try and burst. You can see some air bubbles there in the reflection. I did burst a few of the bubbles using a pin. Um, so, yeah, just fingers crossed. If I get some sales, I do. And if I do and it looks awful afterwards, I will do this again, but with paints without the silicone because I love this result you haven't really got any muddying which you normally or often get with a straight pour and you haven't got muddying simply because of the blend of colors maybe a tiny bit there where you've got some of the greens and the reds so it maybe looks slightly brownish but not really um because the colors have blend are, bl are a blend a continuous spectrum of colors you just don't really get it so i'm over the moon so far so i just hope it dries well so it's now dry um, I absolutely love it. It's so, so bright, so colourful, um, just so fun, just so happy. Um, I love the composition. I love having the colour going off over the sides here um, in different places, but different amounts in different places. I love having these little red bits showing. I'm so happy it's not just one round circle of red around the edge. Um, I think that would look boring, actually. I think it's just quite a cheeky painting. It's quite fun having just those little red bits showing. Um, let me show you the details. Um, so it just, and the rainbow just flows beautifully. The colours just blend absolutely beautifully. And you've got that really bright section there with the green and the yellow. Um, beautiful, beautiful lines. 
just so happy with it. I can't believe I've never done this before. Straight pour the rainbow. Um, I think I might try it again, but do a ring pour. Um, oh, the cells. There's hardly any cells, which is brilliant. I almost imagine this being completely covered in this sort of cell. Um, because, as I said, there is oil in it, but I didn't torch, so the cells didn't come up. But I thought they might over time. There are quite a few little um, pits in it, which is where the air bubbles were. So, unfortunately, it was either little pits or the cells. Um, and I, I've definitely chose the right one because, yeah, really happy with it. What, I just ate happy painting. Um, do you agree? You might not agree. Let me know. Leave me any comments you have, any thoughts you have. I'd love to hear what other people think of this piece. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Please do hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Um, do subscribe to my channel. Take care, everyone. Bye.